Welcome, listener. You've stumbled upon the unexpected podcast. Whether you're meant to be here or not, you might want to prepare yourself for a world of stories you won't hear anywhere else. They are, after all, quite unexpected. Baseball! America's pastime, so they say. There's the fields where children go to play and men dare to dream. Then there's the game itself, which millions of people around the world watch every day. Whether watching with friends, or co-workers, or lovers. They watch with grandchildren too, for baseball is a game that transcends generations and time itself. One thing is for certain, long after we are gone, baseball will still roam the earth. It is a cruel and calculated game, one in which the lines between fair and foul, or even life and death, are often blurred. And on this day, two young men will learn that perhaps a game of baseball isn't about winning, it's about surviving. I bring to you now the hair-raising tale of Field of Screams. Strike one! Nice pitch. Ha! <laughs> That's right, you big wuss. There was way too much heat on that one. Guess I better ease up a bit. Strike two! Oh man, you weren't even close on that one. Is that bat too heavy for you, you pansy? Yeah, maybe it is. All right now, kid, here comes the real heat. Strike three! You are out of here! Oh man, you sure suck at this all of a sudden. I think you're washed up. Either that or your arms have gotten as slow as your brain, you big dum dum. <laughs> <laughs> you sure got me there, Ben. Hey, Come on, man. I was just joking back there. That's cool. I, I know you were. So you ready for some more? Yeah, I suppose. Hey, are you all right, man? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Come on, dude. I know you. I can tell when something's eating at you. Yeah, I guess so. It's, it's just that today isn't a good day for me. Why is that? Well, to be honest, it's Nana. Oh, man, I had no idea. Yeah, I guess I've just really been missing her today. I don't know. It's the one-year anniversary of her death. Uh, oh, Cody, I'm so sorry. Are you holding up okay? Yeah, man, I just... I just wish I could have spent more time with her and really told her how much I loved her. I just wish I had the chance to go to one last game with her. I get it, but hey, look at us now. Isn't it cool that we're out here playing a little ball together? It almost seems now like it's in honor of her, you know? After all, she really did love this game, and... Maybe this is weird to bring up now, but it is pretty cool she was buried in that old baseball jersey of hers. I've never heard of anyone doing something like that before. Yeah, she really was one of a kind. But, yeah, I I totally get it, man. Growing up and growing old is unfortunately something that happens to everyone. I mean, believe it or not, even you and me will grow old someday, you know? The important thing to remember is she had a great life. And besides that, I know she really loved you. If you recall, I used to deliver her paper. She'd tell me that all the time. I remember she even told me to look out after you, no matter what. And you know why, man? Why? Because, because you're like a brother to me. Really? Yeah, man, of course. And hey, wherever she is now, I know she's proud of you. Nothing can take away those memories of her and the time you two spent together. Those can never, ever go away. You know, Ben, you're right. You're really right. And I really needed that, especially today. No problem. But you know me, I'm not really the hugging type, so what do you say we get back to playing some more ball? Yeah, you know what, you got it. And hey, don't go easy on me now. I want you to send over a fast one. I know you like them hot, Cody. (laughs) Heck yeah, I do. You know what, make it so hot, it could cremate my dead grandma. Wait, what'd you say? What? I didn't say anything. Yeah, you did. Something about your grandma? Wow, I sure did uh, knock that ball way the heck out of here. Uh, I guess I'll go get it. Dude. I'll be right back.
Man, where the heck did that ball go? I've never hit anything so far in my life. Too bad Ben was the only one to see it. Wow, it's so dark all of a sudden. Sounds like lots of creatures live here too. Jeez, so many trees. I never noticed them all before. And all these leaves on the ground. Who knows what they could be hiding. <gasps> Yikes! Oh, man, that startled me. I better find it soon. Ben is probably wondering what's taking so long. But these woods are so dense. And if I'm being honest with myself, kind of spooky. Looking for something? Huh? G -g Grandma, is that you? Why, hello, Cody. It's been a while. One year to be exact. Man, that baseball must have hit me right in the head. There's no way this is possible. Of course it is, Cody. And it appears you're searching for something just like I am. You... you are? What are you looking for? Oh, I think you know. I think you know very well. The way home? No, you ungrateful brat. My jersey. What? The one you were buried with? No, the one you stole from my corpse before I was buried. Grandma, I, I don't know what you're talking about. You think the dead don't have eyes, boy? You stole my beloved jersey your grandfather gave me, and then you and your ungrateful father buried me in a potato sack. You're confused. It must have been someone else. Those funeral home guys, they were kind of shady after all. Give me back my f***ing jersey! Fine. You want that dumb thing back so bad? Why don't you play me for it? Play you? In what? What else? A game of baseball. Baseball? Ha! <laughs> I would be careful if I were you. Oh, is that so? Well, I got Ben with me. Who you got on your team? Better go to the nursing home and see if some of your old friends will play with you. Oh, wait. You didn't have any friends. That's what you think, sonny boy. I've made quite a few new friends this past year. New friends? <laughs> this ought to be rich. Fine, game on. But if I win, I get to keep the jersey, and I never want to see your dumb ghost face again. You've got a deal. Meet us at the park when you're ready. I won't blame you if you wuss out at the last second. Oh, we won't. You'll soon see how my friends aren't that type. Oh, and Cody? Yeah, Grandma? If you don't win, it'll be a shame for you. <laughs> The Unexpected Storytelling Podcast will return after a short word from our sponsors. Gary here from Tony Sports Cards and Collectibles, telling you to get in right now for our big blowout sale. We've got baseball cards. We've got football cards. We've got basketball cards. We've got John Deere tractor cards. We've got Jewish Bacon All-Star cards. We've got Dorothy Himmel's Ice Capades cards. We've even got Pokemon and Yuggy oh cards for the kiddos. These cards are one of a kind from Tony's personal collection. So stop in right now. This inventory's got to go, go, go. You want to get for Grandma this holiday season? We've got a fireman's calendar from 2002. Why are you there? We've also got authentic jerseys for players like Donnie Say No to Drugs Dopa and Freddy the Frogman Finnebaker. Just be sure to warn Grandma beforehand or she my croak from excitement. Stop into Tony's Sports Cards and Collectibles today and tell Jerry sent you. We now return you to your tale here on the Unexpected Podcast. Cody, where the heck were you? Taking a major piss or something? Not now, Ben. This is serious. Now, this may sound a little odd, but my grandma's out there and she wants to play us in a game of baseball. Now I'm really going to need your help to beat her. What the heck is wrong with you? Ben, not only is she dead, but she's got crazy. Just don't believe a word she says, okay? Cody, this isn't funny, and I don't like humor like this one bit. There she is! Oh my god, it really is her. It can't be. Time to play ball! What's going on here? And who are your friends? Oh, young, sweet, naive Benny. I'm so sorry you've been caught up in this. But I won't show you any mercy in this game. <laughs> Don't take it personally. We're not afraid of you and a bunch of 80-year-olds who wear diapers. <laughs> right, Ben? Oh, some of them are older than that. Much, much older. In fact, here they come now. Whoa, Cody, you didn't say there'd be so many of them. That's like a whole team. She made it seem like it'd be just a bunch of her weird old friends. These don't look like your run-of-the-mill old people, Cody. In fact, 
Some of them look kind of familiar somehow. As they should. You boys probably remember them from your history books. What the? That guy with the scar. Is that? That looks like Al Capone. Yeah, it looks like. Now you listen here. I'm the real deal, kiddo. And I play a mean second base, see? This just can't be real. It just can't be. Oh, it can. And it is. In fact, here's a guy who's a real team player. John Wilkes Booth. Hello, boys. I do believe this game will surely end with a bang. And then there's our slugger, Henry VIII. If we don't win, heads will certainly roll. Of course. Ladies gotta represent. And this lady isn't afraid to get a little dirty. Of course, I'm talking about Lizzie Borden. I'm about to take 40 whacks with a baseball bat. Of course, there's our MVP and team captain, Tim Hitler. Wait, don't you mean Adolf Hitler? Oh, no, no, no. Tim Hitler was far worse. You don't even want to know what I did. Yikes! And here's our promising new rookie. Harvey Weinstein. Hey, I'm not even dead yet. And I can't forget our speedy pinch runner, Jack the Whipper Ripper. A century later, and I still haven't been caught. Woohoo! And batting cleanup, Genghis Khan. Hey guys, what's up? I think we're way in over our heads, Ben. Yeah, maybe you're right, Cody. We should probably back out and batter up. Oh no, it's too late. century is well underway. To recap, Team Ben and Cody didn't score any runs in the first inning, while Grandma's Hellstars blasted off with 22 in the third. Henry VIII hit his second grand slam of the night while Cody took a line drive to the groinal region. The seventh inning saw another 12 runs for the Hellstars, and Ben called for a timeout to cry in the dugout. Now, in the bottom of the ninth, with two outs, the Hellstars lead 47 to 1. Well, we tried our best, man, but it's over. Come on, Ben. Don't give up. We, we, we can't go out like this. He's right, Cody. This could be your last chance. See, man, I, I don't like the sound of that. This isn't the Ben I know. What do you mean? Wow. You serious? After that big speech you just gave me? You know, the one about my dead grandma telling you to watch out over me? I thought you'd always have my back, man. But when things turn tough, I guess you turn chicken. When you told me that we were like brothers, I actually believed you. Cody, uh, uh, I'm so sorry. You know what? You're right. Let's give this everything we got and win this one. Yeah! Come and get it, boys! And then, in one of the most incredible come-from-behind victories in the history of sports, Cody and Ben scored 47 consecutive runs to win 48 to 47. It truly was a miracle. Wow, we did it! We're a dream team! Take that, Grandma! You little punks! I can't believe you beat us! I should have known Harvey and Lizzie couldn't play well together. Guess you just don't know the importance of great teamwork. You tried to put your evil pals together, but it looks like some people will never change. <laughs> That's right, Ben. You're never getting that dumb jersey back from me. Yeah! Wait, I thought you said she was burying in it. Cody, did you... did you lie to me? Uh, I mean, uh... Excuse us, boys! Yeah, what do you want, Jack the Ripper? Correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't you two pitch back and forth in the third inning? Yeah? So? Oh my! Well, that certainly changes things! What are you talking about? Huh! Well, you can only switch once, so, huh, it looks like you boys broke a cardinal rule of baseball! So? Don't you see, you fools? You essentially disqualified yourselves. Therefore, we have won. Huzzah! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> That's right, you brats. We've won. Now, give me that jersey. But I... I don't have it anymore. What? Where is it? Well, I sold it on eBay for $4. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Yeah, well, what are you going to even do about it anyway? 
I told you. I told you I would have my jersey back. But since you can't give me that one, well, I suppose I shall take another. Another? But how? We're not even wearing our jerseys. Oh, but you are wearing something else. That'll work just fine. Your skin. What? Our skin? Good grief. Is she serious? Oh, yes. I'm quite serious. Now, Jack, why don't you go ahead and rip these boys' faces off? They'll make quite the nice fabric. And the best part, the best part of all, is that you boys will be very much alive for all of eternity as Granny's new favorite jersey. Ah! My pleasure! No! 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 Like the stories you hear on The Unexpected? Consider sharing our show with family and friends, along with any strangers you come across. Provide a little something unexpected to someone else's day. You can find and subscribe to our show on iTunes, Google Play, or anywhere else you stream your podcasts. We're on social media, on Unexpected Show on Twitter, and the Unexpected Podcast on Facebook. You can also find out what we're up to on our website, www.theunexpectedpodcast.com. Thank you for listening. Now let's get back to our bone-chilling tale. Ah, those poor young boys, doomed to spend all of eternity as their grandmother's jersey. But, as they say, there's no dying in baseball. That ending was a bit unexpected, was it not? And that's why people love baseball. It's just like life. There are so many twists, turns, and curveballs just like the ones you'll encounter right here each month, so long as you keep coming back. And you will come back, won't you? Perhaps we could even play a game against each other. A game of shirts versus skins. The Unexpected Storytelling Podcast is written, produced, and directed by Andrew Socek and Eric Bergstrom. Each story is somehow a work of fiction, and with the exception of public figures like Tony Danza, any resemblance to persons living or dead is coincidental and unexpected.